So, hello from the future, I guess, because this video was filmed in a lot of different segments all the way back in July. So I thought I'd do a mini introduction just to bring it all together. I've been trying to fit this oven for a while. It's a free oven, and you may think it's quite big for the tiny house. And I probably will look into switching to induction hobs in the future. But for the moment, um, I'm going to install this gas oven. There's a lot of trial and error install installing this gas oven, just because it's not something I've done before. And obviously with gas, you want to get it right. So I've been chipping away at it in and around work and other things. And this is the kind of end result. I put all the clips together just I haven't done a tiny house video in a long time and this is what I've been working on for the past couple of months. I was hoping to film a successful cake baking outcome at the end but I haven't got around to that yet so but yeah enjoy. So I guess I haven't really done an update on the tiny house in a while, probably a long time, probably since I moved it, or before I moved it, but I guess I will give you an update on the tiny house and I thought I'd do it from upstairs because you, you don't normally see me up here. So yeah, it is currently the end of July, the tiny house is getting there bit by bit. I did come here with the intention of doing some work today. I've just had to take a moment to try and think about the processes for the tiny house and what would be the best way for me to do things. Today focusing on the kitchen counter, such as the gas oven and hob, the water and so on. So that's what I've been using about today. Yeah, it isn't always plain sailing in the tiny house adventures. And I do need to remind myself how far I have come. I have had the tiny house for two and a half years now, which seems pretty mad to say. As anybody who's ever built anything, made anything, I think you always start off thinking it's, it won't take you as long as you think it'll take you, but it definitely takes you twice as long. Messy, messy tiny house. Well, good evening everyone. <sighs> so, as you can probably tell by the title of the video, this episode is going to be about the oven and installing it and hooking it up to the gas. Whew. And that's what I've been doing this evening. I haven't filmed it just because A, there's not much room in the yard. There's two cars in the space outside so there's not much space. So I didn't film the kind of awkward parts where I was bending the copper pipe and things but there was a lot of getting under the tiny house, fitting the copper pipe, bending it, following it along and then bending it up into the utility box behind. So I pretty much done that. I drilled a hole behind the oven and a hole in the utility box and I've just put some copper pipe up behind the oven, run it under the tiny house chassis and then into the utility box. So all I have to do now is hook it up. I've got some little brass olives to include and I've also got some multi-purpose joining compound to put between all the kind of where they all connect and I've got some everyday essentials washing up liquid which I can spray on the joins just to make sure there's no air bubbles coming out and once I've done all that hopefully I can then turn it on and 
pizza, which is my goal. Yeah. Whew. So yeah, I'm on a roll, so I'm going to keep going. And I'll see you in YouTube time. I'll be like five minutes, five seconds. So, I've pretty much done everything apart from remembering to bring a spanner. It's been a while since I was shown how to hook all this up and I forgot that after you've put the regulator onto the gas bottle you need to get a spanner and just tighten it up. So I it's a good job I did try the washing up liquid because I could hear it as well but the gas was coming out so I need a spanner which is madly frustrating but never mind eh? As my female boss says. But yeah, tune in tomorrow for another exciting episode of Katie Ventures. But yeah, um, I'm going to go home, eat that pizza, because it is now ten past eight at night, and I think of something else to bake and bring a spanner tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, I'll see you then. So, I went to the shops and bought myself a spanner so I could tighten up the regulator. Once that was all done, I turned on the gas and then tried again and the regulator was nice and tight which was great but unfortunately the next link in the chain there was gas balls coming out so after all this trial and error I decided to call in reinforcements. Okay. Do you like? Not yet. Ah, there will be a load of air in the pipe that's coming through. Cool. Not bad for free. <laughs> it's very good for free. I can make some cinnamon. Mm. So, greetings from a messy tiny house. Now that my oven's working and the gas has all been hooked up correctly, I'm going to try and bake some cinnabons. She says. lid down there and I'm going to make some cinnabons.
seems a bit wrong to have the oven on on a day like this. But I made I've made cinnamon buns twice before. The first time I made them perfectly and they tasted amazing. And the second time I put way too much cinnamon in them and it was kind of like death by cinnamon. So I'm gonna roll this up, cut cut it into rolls, and then hopefully they should rise in the oven. Well, I think I put too much sugar in the mix, which caramelised it. But not too bad. Sadly, not as good as my first attempt that I did a few years ago. But I guess next time I'll bake a cake, I'll play it safe and make a banana bread. But not too bad for my first baking experience in the tiny house. 